because I'm like new to this recipe, so I'm like, do I really want to like, you know, do that? I don't know. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today I really wanted to try this recipe. It is called elotes. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong guys. So it's a Mexican like street corn recipe. So I really wanted to make a vegan version, but I was like, okay, well, what do I do? <laughs> so I kind of looked around and I tried to find like a bunch of different recipes and then I kind of like put together what I think would work with as minimal effort as possible and as minimal like, you know, bells and whistles as possible. Is that the term? So yeah, I'm going to try this and I grilled these guys in a barbecue. Okay, so first let's make some corn. Okay, so one of the things that we need for Mexican street corn, aka elotes, hopefully I'm saying that right. Okay, uh, one of the things we need is actually some sort of like cheese. Obviously we're not using dairy cheese because it's 2021, we don't do dairy. But I heard that traditionally they use some sort of other type of cheese that I've never even heard of. And um, sometimes they use like feta. I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna make feta, I'm too lazy, I'm too lazy for everything. So I'm gonna make cashew parmesan because it's the easiest thing I know how to make. So yeah, first I thought I would just show you how easy it is to make cashew parmesan. So this is gonna be the vegan parmesan recipe. So all you need is three quarter cup of cashews. So just raw cashews, delicious, fantastic. So put that in a food processor. And then you wanna add in a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. And then the garlic powder is optional, but I mean, let's face it, is it really optional? Not really. So half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we're also gonna do three quarter teaspoon of salt. And that's it. Just make sure your food processor is very dry because yeah, I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? Okay. So then all you have to do is just process it and then it's gonna become nice and crumbly. So let me just show you. And that's it, you guys. It's so easy. Oh, it's so cheesy and delicious, seriously. And I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like Parmesan, but I think it's better because it doesn't have that Parmesan stank, as I like to call it. Parmesan has a stank. This does not have a stank, it's just delicious. And it's dairy-free, so it's awesome. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna use this for our vegan elotes, which I've never tried before, so wish me luck. Okay. All right, you guys, so now we can put together the Mexican street corn, aka elotes. So basically what I find is that you basically coat it with like a creamy sort of thing and then you want to top it with like a, with like the, the cheesy sort of thing, okay? So I, again, I apologize, this is not, uh, this is not authentic, please let me be, okay? So, a few ingredients that um, I found to be very common or needed is mayo. So I'm gonna use vegan mayo. You can use store-bought, but I just made some cashew mayo and I feel like I have just the right amount, around two tablespoons of cashew mayo. So I'm just gonna add that into a bowl. We're gonna mix this all together. And then we wanna do about three tablespoons of sour cream, but again, we're not doing sour cream because we're not doing dairy. But instead, I actually thought I would use this yogurt, this coconut milk yogurt that I really do feel like tastes like sour cream and I feel like it's a little healthier anyway. So I don't even know where to get vegan sour cream and I don't really want to because I'll probably never eat it. So, and I swear this does taste like sour cream. I think it's a great sour cream replacement. So there you go. So we're doing three tablespoons of that. All right, so next we're gonna use cilantro. Guys, cilantro is one of my favorite things, which is one of the reasons why I love Mexican food. There's so much cilantro. So I'm just gonna take about a quarter cup and I'm gonna keep a little bit for garnishing, but I'm gonna add most of it in there. So if you don't like cilantro, I'm sorry. This is not for you. <laughs> I know some people don't like it, but you know, I still can't relate. Okay. And then we're gonna do like a little pinch of salt. Just a little bit of salt. Original recipe, they use minced garlic and I'm kind of scared. I don't know why 
Like I feel like I shouldn't be scared of raw garlic, but to be safe, I'm gonna use garlic powder. Also like, you know, maybe you're lazy. You don't wanna mince your garlic. Although I do have a garlic hack, so I'll link that video down below, but I'm just gonna use, I don't know, half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Hopefully that's okay. Um, I don't know why I'm afraid of garlic right now. I don't know what it is. It's cause I'm like new to this recipe. So I'm like, do I really want to like, you know, do that? I don't know. So anyways, I'm gonna mix this. Pray for me. Is this even enough? <laughs> okay, I'm doing another tablespoon of the sour cream, AKA vegan yogurt. I don't know. I feel like I need more. Okay, let's just put it on. Ooh, I think you want to be quite generous as well, but I don't know. This might be enough for two. Sorry guys, there's a vacuum situation going on outside. Somebody commented in my last video where I, I mentioned something about a vacuum outside and they're like, what do you mean vacuuming outside? I've never heard of that. I live in a condo. <laughs> so there you go. You can hear it now, can't you? Let's continue. So I think this should be enough like for three actually. I remember when I went to New York City, my friend ate one of these corn things and I did not because I was either vegan or I was not eating dairy or something like that. And I was like, I wanna try it. If you've ever had that experience, well, you can make it at home, okay? Very messy sort of summer dish. Okay. All right, you guys, so here we go. Now, uh, we just gotta add our vegan cheese. So I'm using that Parmesan that we made. Ooh, okay. I'm a little too excited for this. Okay, come on, that looks good. I kinda wanna coat it all, you know? It's actually quite easy, you just have to like make the cashew parmesan in advance and then all you have to do is like grill the corn that's like all you need to do then just mix together a few things you can also put some chili powder apparently i mean i feel like this part's optional but i'm just gonna put a little bit on top Ooh, come on you need that you need that that aesthetic come on what's next i'm gonna top with some more cilantro do i need anything else is that it is that it is that, is that everything and then apparently you serve it with some lime wedges. So um, I think you have an option if you want to just put the lime in the sauce and or you can just serve it with lime wedges. I'm just gonna serve mine with lime wedges, so. Okay. I made, guys, is this the Food Network? I don't know. It's just so beautiful. I think I've outdone myself. <laughs> so I'm just so proud of myself right now. <laughs> just like watch it like doesn't taste good. <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. Um, there is the Mexican elotes. Let's try one. All right, guys, we are ready to try it. Let's do a little lime juice action. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, okay, we're gonna try it. It's gonna get messy. I have a, uh, I have a, an emergency napkin beside me, okay. Mmm, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but it tastes really good. The lime just really kicks up the flavor. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just from the insta-worthiness alone, it is so worth making, and it is actually really delicious. Try it out, guys. All right, guys, so that was my attempt at making vegan Mexican street corn, aka elotes. Let me know if any of you guys are from Mexico and you're like, um, Rose, that's not how you do it. You can let me know, but just be nice, okay? Either way, it was delicious and it was fantastic and it looks presentable, so that's good. So hopefully you guys try this out. Link to my blog post will be down below as always. I think this would be really great to bring to any sort of like barbecue situation, like I said before. So yeah, it's a great little side dish to whatever summer festivities you have going on, okay? Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!